Hello, welcome to Sun Founder. Today, I'll guide you through the assembly of the Zeus car. Here's everything you need in this kit, mainboard camera, structural components, and other accessories. Firstly, install a motor into the car body using two M3 nuts, spring washers, and IM3 by 25 screws. Ensure the motor wire face inward. Then, mount another motor vertically at the rear end, also with the motor wire facing inward. Repeat this process for the remaining two motors. Now, connect a 4-pin wire to the ultrasonic module. Using door 3090 rivets and a plate, secure it to the front. Make sure the wire goes through the hole. Fasten for M3 by 28 standoffs to the bottom of the car with M3 by 6 screws. These will secure the bottom plate. Tighten them using a screwdriver. Insert a 7 pin wire into the camera adapter. Then, attach the camera support plate with two M3 by 6 screws. Affix the camera adapter to the camera support plate. And secure with M3 by 6 screws. Lift the black piece on the ESP3 to chem connector. Insert the camera. And then stick it onto the SD card socket for stability. You can now plug the ESP3 to chem into the camera adapter. At the front, install TAM 3x5 plus 6 standoffs for obstacle avoidance modules. Then, install for M3 by 14 plus 6 standoffs for the R3 board. If it feels a bit loose, use a wrench for a tighter fit.
Insert a 3-pin wire into each obstacle avoidance module, making sure not to connect the end pin, and the side with exposed metal of the 3-pin wire must face upward. Then, secure these two modules to the front of the car with M3x6 screws, To better distinguish wires later, we suggest you label each wire with a sticker. Pass the four motor wires through the side hole. and tidy them up with a cable tie, leaving room for the battery. It's time to secure the R3 board with M3x6 screws. After that, plug in the Zeus car shield. Follow the assembly instructions provided in the kit to plug all modules into their respective ports. Now, attach one side of the Velcro to the battery and the other to the underside of the car. This will secure the battery in place. Don't forget to connect the battery wire. After passing the wires of the two RGB strips through the hole, plug them into the respective ports. Attach the bottom plate using M3x6 screws. Now, stick on the RGB strips. Twist in for M3x5 plus 6 standoffs onto the bottom plate. These will hold the Omni Grayscale module. Plug a 6-pin wire into the Omni Grayscale module. Thread its wire through the hole, then secure it with M3x6 screws. Lastly, connect its wire. When assembling the wheels, remember there are two types of mechanum wheels, ensure they're correctly arranged on each side. 
Secure the wheels using M to 6 by 25 screws. To test, insert a powered Type-C wire to activate the battery. Then turn on the Zeus car. Ensure the switch near the motor is to the right. Then press the reset button to restart the code. If you see a cyan light at the bottom, the code is running successfully. Now, we can control the Zeus car using a remote controller or an app. The video is over. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe us to get the latest videos or visit www.sunfounder.com to see more information about the product.